starting point for any exploration of sustainability is important and we feel that the interconnectedness of people and the planet is that starting point. When we talk about interconnectedness, what we really mean is how we as humans are connected to the people, connected to the planet and connected to each other. The other view of reality is what you might call a depth psychological view or a spiritual view of reality. I'm talking here about the raw spirituality of what it might mean to be a human being. And instead of looking at our human relationships across this divide as our egos on legs of meat, instead you look at depth, that perhaps we are interconnected at a very deep level. Perhaps when I look at you, if I go deep enough, I see me. And if you look at you, you will see your neighbour. Perhaps we are members one of another. Perhaps there is a profound interconnection in this universe that is what gives meaning. At Netpost of Futures, we've always believed that a focus on core business and sustainability is absolutely crucial. At the Netpost of Conference, a number of speakers talked about this focus on core business practice, a focus on students, a focus on teaching, and a focus on research. One thing I want to try and achieve is every degree programme in our university to be able to explain in its periodic subject review what its social impact is, social environmental impact is. For social responsibility, it was quite simple to us, is what are we good for in contrast to this? What's the purpose? Um, and that can be about our research and our graduates. But it, all, it starts from a different position really. What is the point of a university? To make this more tangible and understandable to the outside world and indeed to our own colleagues, um, our own staff and our own students and alumni, we wanted to establish a small set of programmes that would be emblematic of what we meant by social responsibility. And we wanted to make the strategy more focused and we developed a model of um, focusing on a small number of strategic priorities. We, we, we got down to five, I think we could have got down to four actually. Over the past ten years there's been a shift in university focus from just looking at reducing negative impacts to how they enhance positive. This theme of measuring impact is a vital one for universities to demonstrate their contribution to society. But actually well, I think we, we need to try and work out as a sector what are some of the metrics and, and methods for measuring um, uh, social impact so that actually we can start to see across the board and benchmark ourselves against each other. So the role of universities in shaping society is absolutely fundamental and I think that's something that in a UK context um, that kind of more profound responsibility of universities to educate people capable of building more just and sustainable societies is a really profound role of universities that I think we ignore at our peril. As with any conference bringing people together gives the opportunity to share and learn from each other's but a very strong theme came out at this conference and that was the need to obviously share and learn but also go outside the sector and learn from the work of others. You know, I, I kind of think there's lots of opportunities uh, for us to do better in this sector. And, and I think what's, for me, what I look around and I see, a, a bit like today, what's emerging is, is lots of areas of really, really, really good practice. Lots of engagement happens. To what extent do you think about the impact that it's had? To what extent do you even consider why you are doing it? Because one of the things that we really want the tool to be able to deliver for you is to demonstrate the impact that your team has within your institution and the, the impact that your work has. It is only with a focus on core business do we believe any institution can be truly net positive. Because of the commitment to sustainability, Ofsted actually contributed an outstanding approach to sustainability and equality as a key driver in the college being an outstanding college. Our universities provide a fundamental mechanism by which we train future leaders to not only protect the planet but to take society forward. I think there's a lot of, a lot of the newer universities in the FE sector in particular is showing real leadership. Most of the leaders of tomorrow, your CEOs, your politicians, your research scientists, your heads of sustainability, most of these people will be graduates of some of the leading universities in the world. That's a fact. At Netpositive Futures, we obviously use the language of Netpositive. However, what's been demonstrated at this conference is that lots of universities are already making net positive commitments without using that terminology. Because it's all very well doing sustainability in terms of turning off the lights and bringing in carbon efficient forms of heating and all the rest of it. 
That is one level of application. But at the end of the day, it all falls down. It won't work. And our motivation will not be sustained unless we have a deeper sense of meaning. We as a group need to start to maybe use the Net Positive um, uh, Forum as a way of starting to talk more about uh, uh, how we do uh, or what we do in this sector, what's great about this sector and actually you know, what we're going to do moving forward. The commitment to enhancing their socio-economic contribution to their staff, students and community is a testament to how they're taking this forward. If the sector works together, we can maximise the impact we're having and demonstrate true leadership. We will ensure that every student, regardless of what they study, has an experience and is challenged around issues of sustainability. In year two, um, around issues of social justice and fairness and equality. And in year three, workplace ethics, or what some people might call business ethics, or organisational ethics, professional ethics. What this first Net Positive conference has demonstrated is a huge amount of innovation, a huge amount of commitment, and a huge amount of excellent practice. Your job as sustainability professionals is not just to deal with the nuts and bolts and all the regulations and all the rest of it that takes up so much of your time but also to inspire people and to be inspired in what you are doing as participants in that demanding common task. I wanted you to have a problem in 10 years. I wanted to be hundreds of universities trying to get into this room.